Yo guys, and welcome back. So, I got a new setup. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but anyway, I got a new setup now, so it should be easier to hear me now since I'm in a corner. So, and I've got a little bit of an announcement. I'm due to get soundproof mats really soon as well. I've ordered them, but I don't know when they're coming yet. But this whole area is going to be soundproofed. I may or may not keep this, but this whole area is going to be soundproof, so it's going to be a little bit easier to hear me when I'm talking and stuff like that. But anyway, so today I'm actually going to be just doing a little bit of line work because compared to what I normally do with the colouring, I normally do like pre-line work before I start the video but this time I'm feeling like doing a little bit of line work so that's what I'm going to be doing I've got the picture I'm doing is I'm going to put the picture somewhere like maybe here or here or but um, it's actually one of the pictures I previously did in 2015 but I decided to redo it just to kind of see how my current progress rise of style is going but I'm not going to take long for this anyway so let's get straight into this guys I'm really excited to kind of see the style wise because it's been 15, not 15 years old. <laughs> it's been about 4 or 5 years so I am really curious to see how my style wise is going to go now like drawing and everything but anyway let's get into this guys so the pens I'm going to be using to do this line work is the Pigma Macro and Fine Liners, the Sakura brand. I said that without starring. <laughs> That's an achievement. But um, they're really nice pens. They go from 0.20 to 0.50 millimeters, and it's got six in total pens in between them. I've done like a review before with these. These are the also Pigma Macro and Fine Liners, the Sakura brand, but coloured instead I did my first review using these ones but these pens are one of my favourites they're in one colour but they're really thin what I'm holding is the 0. Point, no no yeah the 0. 20 millimeter one so like they're really fine and just a lot easier to use when it comes to doing details so let's do this if I remember or forget anything I will add it into the video somewhere I'm not sure where but somewhere.
So guys, I told y'all I'll come back if I forgot anything and I forgot something. So the difference between the Pigment Macron fine liners that I'm using now and the fine liners I used before, the colours, is that the colours only come in one size. So I can't remember the exact colours I used before, I'll probably put it in the video somewhere. But the colours I used before only came in one size compared to the Sakura Pigma Macron Fine Liners I'm using now which come in a variety of different sizes which makes it easier to do my characters a bit more with details and stuff like that because if it only comes in one size it's a bit more thicker and just more difficult to manoeuvre and make sharp lines The next video I'm going to do is going to be of me doing, and I kept talking about this, but I never got around to doing it <laughs> until today, today, until tomorrow. But um, I'm going to do a Copic versus Spectrum Noir drawing, and that picture is what I'm going to be using. This line work is what I'm going to be using to do the Copic versus Spectrum Noir comparison.
that is it guys if you like what you see leave a like subscribe think about turning on that post notification and if you have any overall thoughts or opinions just hit me up in the comments all right thanks guys see you later peace